Well, thank you very much, everyone. We've had a, uh, a tremendous success in the state of Texas. And the governor and the lieutenant governor, hey, governor, you've done a fantastic job, and I appreciate it. And the people of Texas appreciate it. Actually, the people of the country really appreciate it. So I want to thank you very much. And uh, maybe I'd ask you to say a few words to our friends at the sure. press. I, I'll be honest. Well, well, Mr. President, once again, we, we thank the president uh, for being here in Texas once again. Uh, he continues to show his commitment to helping Texans respond to the disaster of Hurricane Harvey and the flooding events. Uh, he has seen firsthand uh, the challenges that Texans face uh, through his multiple trips to Texas. He's seen homes that were destroyed, businesses that were destroyed. He's seen the needs that we have. Uh, and so the, the ongoing uh, commitment that he has to ensure that Texans are going to be able to respond and rebuild uh, is essential not just to Texas, but also vital to the United States of America because of the powerful engine for the American economy that Texas provides. So, Mr. President, uh, I applaud you uh, for constantly working with me and the people of the state of Texas to make sure that we recover. Thank you very much. Dan, would you like to say something? The response from this administration dealing with this storm has far exceeded any previous administration in response to these storms. We have a lot of counties that have suffered hurricanes before. And when I talk to those county judges and those mayors, they say the team has responded in a way they've never seen, faster, uh, with more help. And it's because you were on the ground on day one and you looked at it and said, we have to fix it, we have to take care of it. And the governor's done a fabulous job. Uh, we have a long way to go and a lot of people to get back in their homes. Uh, we are, uh, it's the biggest storm in the history of America and the biggest recovery effort and the best recovery effort by the federal government. And by far, thank you, and by far the most water. There was and never, by far the most water. There was never a water drop like this one. There's no question. Correct. The FEMA folks have been so incredible. Uh, would you like to say something to the press? Sure, it's just a great team effort. So from the administration and your efforts to the governor and his team, our state and federal counterparts working hand in hand, working with citizens. Uh, in the early days, it was neighbor helping neighbor that helped the rescue, and it's going to continue to do that through the long road of recovery. And Mr. President, again, thank you. I think our ability to tailor the, the programs to meet the survivors' needs rather than them having to meet into the bureaucracy and the flexibility that the administration gave to us uh, along with the governor to do that has made this the, the success that it is so far and we'll keep that going forward. Well, I'll tell you, the military was so great and the Coast Guards, I mean, I'm hearing numbers of 16,000 people saved by the Coast Guard. I think our first responders were amazing. They, All first responders. Our, they worked for four and five days, Mr. President, without any sleep. And many of them, their homes had flooded. So while their homes were flooding, they were helping yeah. others. Uh, we had our own dumpster of our you flotilla did. of volunteers bringing boats. You did. And what a job they did. Mr. 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 President, I've been a first responder and emergency manager for 24 years. I've been the state director of Texas Emergency Management for seven years. This is my 12th presidential disaster declaration. This has been the fastest FEMA has ever moved in this process. Your leadership, Brock Long, Tony Robinson, bringing in all of the federal partners. The rest of our disasters have been big but nothing of this size. And to have your support and their support putting $1.3 billion of money in the hands of Texans to start rebuilding their lives and over $400 million on the streets for local governments to start getting back to normal has been phenomenal. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's so nice. I appreciate it. Thank you. Would you like to say? Go ahead. Sure, Mr. President. You, you, you deserve it. <laughs> thank you very much for, for your partnership, for FEMA's partnership. Uh, it's been an amazing effort, and we really appreciate it. Thank you. Well, thank you. We're very proud of our governor. We're very proud you have done something very Thank special. And, and Dan, we're very proud of all of you guys. And it's true, first responders, military, everybody, everybody. And I do single out Coast Guard because people, I think it's sometimes unsung, oh, but they were out there and they were following that, you know, tremendous peril to themselves. They were just right on the edges and they'd follow it right in. Uh, and it was incredible. And they saved 16,000 people. That think of, think of what that could have been if you lost anywhere near that number. It would have been probably one of the worst, maybe the worst catastrophe we've Thanks. ever had. So the Coast Guard has been so incredible, all of the military. Uh, I just want to say I'm very proud of all of you, everybody at this table. And keep it going. And we're going to look at uh, the, the concept of a more permanent solution. 
because you do get inundated, and this has been going on for decades. Uh, Houston's got some difficulty with that, and we're going to see if we can solve that on a more permanent basis. And there is a way of doing a method of doing it, and they've known it for 20 or 25 years, but nobody's ever done it. Uh, but this governor and this lieutenant governor have uh, been talking about it, and uh, let's take a look at the cost and let's see if it's possible to do, because that would save a lot of money into the future. And it would also put a lot of people to work right. building it. So okay. let's see what we can do. You'll come and you'll show me what the concepts are. Yes, I think the concepts work. It's a question, do the costs work? And I think the costs do work. We can make it work. There's, yep. nothing, there's nothing like what you went through, believe me. So if we can solve that. And this, if had it been built, much of what you went through would have been very small yeah, by comparison, right, perhaps almost nothing. So we're going to take a very serious look at that. I'm the builder president, <laughs> remember, that's all I understand. You're late for this. Yes. One of the other things we were talking about is green board. It's called green board. It's sheetrock, but it's really a very strong form of sheetrock uh, that actually people use around bathtubs. They use it around bathtubs and showers, and it's, uh, you know, water has no impact on it. And if they would use that on first floors, it, mm -hmm. it covers the same. You'll fix it the same. But the construction guys know exactly what I'm talking about. We were discussing it, and I said, has anyone ever thought of it? And the statement was, only people in the construction industry would know. It's just a little more expensive than sheetrock. Uh, and uh, frankly, if people would do that on their first floor, that water would come in, it would come out, and they'd be back in business. You wouldn't have to rip out the whole house. So it's something I think that should be maybe in certain areas considered very strongly and, you know, in the areas that we're talking about. I think it would be a tremendous, for a very small amount of money, uh, make a big, big difference. And the water doesn't get through it at all. Thank you very much, everybody.